Summer has thrown up a crazy mixed bag of weather right around the country. Searing heat to freezing cold, sudden storms and wild wind, even December snow. At times, it's been four seasons in just one day. So what's Christmas Day going to be like in your part of the world? Rocking around Christmas tree. We can almost taste it. The turkey, the prawns, the presents and the summer sunshine. We've had the heating on. It's been really cold in Melbourne, been lots of rain. One day it's like super hot, one day it's freezing cold. We've had enough, I reckon. Everybody's had enough. It's been shocking. It's been a year of record-breaking weather. For some parts of the country, the wettest to date. So I'm here to tell you, this Christmas, it's heating up. 30 degrees, sunny 30 degrees, 31 degrees. <laughs> So, in a snapshot, it looks like Santa Claus isn't just bringing with him gifts galore this Christmas, but a whole lot of sunshine. The Weather Bureau tells us its official Christmas Day forecast is in. And a little bit of this, this and this is on the radar. Senior meteorologist Dean Narramore at the Bureau is the father Christmas of forecasts. Much of the country is looking at you know, stable, fine conditions you know, with long stretches of warm and sunny weather, particularly over the Christmas Boxing Day period. Oh. We're prepared for the worst and then now this is just the bonus day, it's going to be good now. We're looking forward to it not being cold, not being wet. I want it to be so hot that I'm walking around in my underwear <laughs> in front of my family. <laughs> And if you're after a bit of the same, here's where you'll find it. The top Christmas Day temperatures can be found, well, in the top end. Darwin is said to max out at 33 degrees. Brisbane looks likely to hit 31 degrees on December 25, while Perth, Adelaide and Canberra will reach 30 degrees on Christmas Day. And Sydney and Melbourne are close behind the rest on 28 and 27 degrees. Generally looking warm, sunny and beautiful across southern Australia. Sensational, I suppose some would say. And then across the north looking pretty typical for this time of year. And as for Tassie, things are on the up. After the state shivered through its coldest December day in more than 50 years, Hobart turning it on for St Nick's arrival with a top of 21 degrees. The state battling with below average temperatures this festive season and they're not the only ones. And that's a similar story for parts of uh, almost Victoria and eastern New South Wales as well where many locations have been running anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees below the December average for this time of year. So places that are normally in the mid to high 20s have only been in the mid to high teens uh, and was, as you've seen we've seen a lot of snow through our alpine areas through the first few weeks of December but the pattern is changing. The pattern of rain we've all become familiar with won't reach too many of us on the big day but falls are still forecast. A wetter state across the country on Christmas Day will be the top end and the Northern Territory. We're looking at widespread rain, showers and thunderstorms. While the Bureau can't predict too far ahead, what they can tell us is Boxing Day weather is set to hit us for six. So we're going to see that heat uh, and sunny conditions continuing for the first day of the Boxing Day test. Maybe a little bit warmer as well, could be getting to around that 30 degree mark. Dean is also putting his bets on a speedy day one for the Sydney Hobart Yacht Race, with winds from the north to northeast along the coast on Boxing Day. It's another warm and breezy one, and those northerly winds will kind of help push those yachts further south a little bit quickly. So whether you've... We've got the table set up already. Or have been... Praying for more weather like this, please, weather gods. It sounds like you're in luck this Christmas. Let's hope so. No fires, no floods, no COVID. The signs are good.